What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinist. And we are live here from IMTS. Right now I'm joined by my friend Alex from Volmer. Alex. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much for joining us. Now what do you do at Volmer? So I'm working now for about 15 years for Volmer. I started at the apprenticeship area and the application area. And after maybe about seven years, I left over to, to the product management, the erosion part. Now, what are we looking at here behind us today? Because I believe it involves erosion, which is why you're here. <laughs> exactly. We are um, showing here the first time in the US our v, v Hybrid 260. As you know, the V Hybrid uh, 260 is based uh, on our tool cutter grinder, the V Grind 260. That means uh, we really have to take over the kinematic structure from our tool cutter grinder and put a generator in. Uh, and this makes us possible now to erode and grind in one single step up. And for people who don't know, grinding is with an abrasive wheel or something like that. Eroding is literally using, as far as I know, that's essentially a sinker EDM on that bottom spindle there, that little yeah. copper thing we're seeing. There. No, it's, it's, not, it's not a sinker EDM. As I see, we have a vertical spindle configuration. That means we have an upper spindle, we have a, a grinding spindle, and then the lower position, we have a grinding and eroding spindle. So it literally but spins. the spins, the, the eroding, the, it's a copper, Kappa tungsten wheel that spins and is following the profile. It's not a sinking electric. Now for those who maybe not are so familiar with tool grinding, what's the advantage to using grinding or what is the advantage to using EDM? When are you going to use each one of those? Okay. For sure, if we're talking about grinding, most of all, most materials are the carbide. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if we are talking about eroding, we have the PCD. Yeah, but there are really a lot of tools in the market which have both materials uh, combined. Yeah? And especially for this kind of tools, we are using this kind of machine to combine processes in one single setup. So basically you can do more all in the same machine. Exactly. We have a, a wide range of tools we can handle here. Now what kind of tooling is this really specializing in making? Is this really high-end aerospace stuff? Is this mm -hmm. for super alloys? What kind of tool makers are putting these on the floor? This is a very, very interesting uh, question. Um, this kind of machine is a very flexible machine. That means it doesn't matter if we are talking about the wood, the wood industry, metal cutting industry, aerospace industry, optical industries. We have software and we have functionality for all these industries in this machine uh, included. So whether you're making literally a wood routing bit yeah, or sure. you're doing something for a spaceship, yeah. this thing can make a tool for it. Exactly. Uh, we have a, a wood production or wood service, a lot of router bits where we can do the eroding and the relief grinding on the carbide, on the steel body, but also we can do for the aerospace industry the, the, the vein technology right. or the, the full head PCD by doing only eroding and grinding in one single setup. Now, I see a door just open in the back of this. What are we looking at here? Yeah. So here we are looking in the front uh, to the automation system we have here in. We have different kind of automation system in this machine. One automation, automation system is the workpiece change. This is what we see now here. That's what that's just a, came out. Exactly, that's the HSK tool. We change now from the loader. Yeah. And the other one will be the tool changer, which is in the back, to change the tool, uh, the, work, the, the wheel, if it is necessary. So both changing the work tool and the workpiece yeah. all in the same that's machine. That's a 100% automated machine. That, that means you can, this, you can run this machine 24-7. So this thing, you put problem. the material in, you put yeah. the wheels in, you let it rip. Yeah, you put a, the material, the tools in, you have to do the programming, doing the production program, and you start a machine and the machine will do everything fully automatically. Now, one thing I did spot when we were just kind of walking around this machine earlier, let's go over there right now. When we're talking flexible, one thing that really caught me by surprise here is that we don't only just have one kind of tool in here that this is capable of doing in one run. Yeah. I'm seeing end mills, I'm seeing drills, I'm seeing router bits. Yeah. This could all run in the same production run. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about before. Uh, that's the flexibility we have in this machine. It doesn't matter if we have a PCD tool, afterwards we are doing a carbide drill, after that we're doing a, a PCD end mill. This is really a flexible machine, and uh, especially for the operator. Yeah. And if I'm seeing this correctly, you could fit how many tools in here? 200, something like that, yeah. it's looking it's, like it's, a lot. It's depending on the clamping system, yeah. If we are looking for shank loading, it's about 158 tools in total, depending on diameter. And if we are talking about HSK and the 150 millimeters of diameter, we are talking about 20, 20 pieces. Yeah. And when we're talking HSK, I don't run an HSK machine, but this is literally the same tool holder that you could go and put in the spindle of your mill. 
Exactly. And you can yeah. work hold and machine on, or uh, yeah. machine we, the tool on that. Exactly. We are going in with the machine with a gripper you see in the back. We fill it, we feed it in, and the machine is doing the process which I needed especially to doing that. Yeah. So you could come and unload tools as this thing's running, put more material in and exactly. let it go. Exactly. If we finish the tool, we can take it out, put a new one in. That means the machine can run without any stops. Yeah. And what's around the back here? So, if we are talking about our automation systems, for sure, for the workpiece, we also have automation system for the tools for the wheels, which is nearly necessary because depending on geometry, maybe we need different kind of wheels, different kind of radiuses. And for that, we have a changer, an eight wheel pack changer. That means this is done by the machine fully automatically. We have also a dressing equipment in the machine who is dressing the electrode. That's, uh, that's on the actual that's inside a, of the machine. Exactly who is dressing the copper electrodes because you have also wear on the wheels. That means we have to dress it, but also we have to do the, the recalibrating of the machine. This is all included in this machine. So literally, when we're looking at one of these copper wheels here, it can detect if it has eroded by how much, redress it and recalibrate it all okay. automatically. This is done by the, uh, by the operator. Mm -hmm. The operator decides maybe have a tool, 10 cutting edges, after five cutting edges, I want to refresh the profile of the wheel and uh, the calibration of the machine. This is done by the machine fully automatically. Now, how many tools can I fit in here at one time? That's eight, we have eight here in, uh, plus the two we have in the machine. And that will switch out both the top and the bottom spindles. Exactly, yeah. Now, who's putting these kind of machines in right now? Because obviously this is a pretty new system. What kind of companies are you seeing putting this system in? We have uh, companies from different industries, as I told you before, wood, aerospace, yeah, but also sharpening uh, all, and production. And so literally custom stuff, production stuff, it's all exactly. in the same machine. Yeah. We have a really a, a wide range of, of tool flexibility. That means we have different kind of software in the machine. That means here the machine is quite flexible for doing that. And in front of us here, I think we actually have some tools this thing has produced. Exactly. As we see it in our tool changer, or the workpiece changer, there are a lot of tool, different kind of tools we can handle in this machine. Here especially we are doing the carbide, the carbide stuff. The different kind of geometries, what we can do. But what is very special, uh, especially on this machine, we launched a new generator. Uh, we are doing our generators in-house by ourselves. That means all the improvements are done by ourselves. So, and now we have a new generator, which is a lot of more faster. Mm -hmm. It's faster, but also we can reach surface finishes up to 0.05 RA. Uh, what does that mean? Um, 0 0.05 0 .05 is roughly a surface finish we reach by grinding. Yeah. And, uh, and the, the generator feeds that EDM for those who don't exactly. know. Exactly, this is all done by the generator. Yeah, and normally if we have a look at a drill like this, for example, we have a PCD drill. Uh, in the front, the first five millimeters, you have PCD and the rest of it is carbide. That means we have to do the grind, the eroding first of PCD and afterwards we are doing the grinding uh, also by this machine. That means it's a kind of hybrid process. That means you finish this kind of tool in one single setup. That's very important. Because if you try to grind that PCD, what's going to happen? Your wheel is not going to last. It's exactly. going to be toast. And normally, right now, today, a lot of customers, they have to do the grind, the, the eroding and grinding on a separate machine. And afterwards, they take it out to a different machine for doing the polishing. Yeah. And maybe with this kind of new generator, we will yeah, solve this at uh, one or the other um, cutting edge that maybe you can do it by eroding and reach also very good surface finish. Because especially for those who don't know, every time I need to set up the same tool or the same tool or workpiece in a different machine, that's another opportunity for something to go wrong. Exactly. So if I can keep yeah. it in the same holder in the same machine, yeah, we're getting accurate. higher production, yeah, more you accurate. Save machining time because if you have to take it out, bring it to another machine, you lose time in between. The, the transmission from one to the other machine and for sure the clamping situation is a different one that means you, you lose time and efficiency and we're not just talking about things like drills i don't know if you can see this one right here that as far as i can tell is a cutter for doing composites compression exactly. cutter yeah that is a very complicated profile yeah that's right but we can handle it without any problems on this machine and the same thing with these are uh for um, christmas tree cutters yeah christmas tree it. cutters that's yeah. what they call it exactly. so everything from standard end mills up to the really custom stuff exactly. up to literally hybrid material stuff and also where we have really big demands right now is drills small drills that not six millimeter not five millimeters we are talking about drills for one millimeter or maybe below one millimeter 
Oh, yeah. that's a drill. That's a drill. Maybe that's a yes. That's a that's spiral a drill. drill. A one millimeter spiral drill. And also, especially at this kind of drill, the surface finish is very, very important. Yeah, and also with these parameters, with this new generator, we are really getting perfect results doing that uh, drills in a fully automatic mode on this machine. And that's really big, especially for things like electronics industry. Exactly. That yeah. is very, Circuit very key. and something like that. Yeah. And also we are trying to get it smaller. Yeah. But Even here, smaller than that. Yes, yeah, smaller than that. But the question is if we are, can reach uh, smaller than, uh, or, let me say 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeters. That's really a small. Tiny. That's really a small diameter, yeah. Now, where can people find more information about Volmer if they want to get some more information on this machine? Okay, first of all, we have our subsidiary in Pittsburgh uh, where the, the sales is located uh, in the North America, but also on the website. We have all machines on our website where you get the information, the brochures and everything. Excellent, yeah. well, thank you very much for joining yeah. us today. Thank you very you much. Have a great day. Pleasure to meeting you.